Jamar Pierre is on a mission. He's documenting the history of New Orleans on a mural on 10 blocks of the flood wall here on Chapatulis. When completed, it'll stretch a mile long. And I just gotta finish this yellow. It's a painstaking project to transform this wall into a work of art. And people are noticing. Some drivers honk with their approval, others stop to see what Jamar's doing. And the most thing people ask is, what drives someone to take on a project like this? Yeah, a lot of people still do think I'm crazy, but I mean, <laughs> if you're an artist, you have to think outside the box and be ambitious. So this is the French. His goal is yeah, to show the history of uh, New Orleans. This is definitely a timeline. So right now we've just, this area is only the 1700s. As we get closer towards Jackson, then we'll go into the 1800s. And now, now you started on this block by the Walmart uh -huh. because they're the first group that really stepped up to help you out. Yes, yes, they helped us to get started and we're very grateful for that. And it's not just the 300 plus years of New Orleans history. He begins with the Native Americans who were here for centuries before the French founded New Orleans. Walmart was his first sponsor, but he needs a lot more people to step up to make this thing happen, since it's such a big project covering so much history. We started before 1700 pre-European, and then as we go towards Nicey, we go into the future. How long do you think, in, in your best case scenario, to do all 10 blocks, to do a mile of this wall? It really depends on the funding. If miraculously I got all the funding yeah. at one time, I could do it in the whole mile in less than two years. But he's a long way from being fully funded, so those two years could stretch out to four or five or even more. You have to be real patient. Jamar's not concerned about that, though. His biggest concern is presenting the history of New Orleans, the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so we're painting a ship right here. Yes. What year is this? This is the 1700s. Okay, and what kind of a ship is this? This will be a French galleon ship. A French galleon? Yes, that bought uh, humans as cargo, Africans, slaves. It's the ugly part of history. Yes, it's the ugly part of history. We can't leave it out. I mean, what happened with the Native Americans was too, and you know, every, every group, you know, that's why diversity and inclusion is so important because every group has struggled yeah. at one point in history to make it, but yes, this was very, very unfortunate that our ancestors had to endure some of the things they went through. And so does he represent any, any certain tribe or represents all tribes? All tribes, all the native people that lived here along the bayous and the Mississippi River before the French. And then we get up to uh, 1718. Uh-huh. And that's when, because I like you have the uh, Florida lease here. Yes, yes this, this, this helps us go into the French Then we go section. into the birth of New Orleans and then and then we have uh, Bienville here, uh -huh. and 1718, yep. which was the, the uh, birth of New Orleans. Jamar is passionate about this project. It consumes much of his time, not only painting, but the research he does to make sure what he's showing is historically accurate. There's still a lot of work to do on this first block, with nine more blocks to go. And I am excited. I'm excited to finish this first block so people can see the potential. And that I feel really, like the more I put on here, the more it'll people know people on, yeah. I have people stop by at the light and they yell out, they're like, wow, every time I pass by, I see something new. Eventually, he hopes to get other artists involved in helping out, especially young people. And because he needs a lot of funding, Jamar is open to anyone being a sponsor and maybe even becoming a part of the mural. You can adopt a block. We have what's called an adopt a block program. You can adopt a whole block, you can adopt a section but your story has to go within a timeline of the 300 years. So I could adopt a little section, you put my picture up there? Yes. Yes, you can. It's a thought. Yep. Well, this could be history in the making. Eric Paulson, Eyewitness News.